I'm sleepy. Hello and welcome to Wildflowers. didn't have the stone in place that she was looking for. But that is pretty alarming that she broke through our glamour. Let's make another spirit flame potion and maybe another boost harvest potion wow who ordered the winter wonderland uh was it me i'd better go check and see how everyone is doing No reason to panic, everyone. She is still a seaworthy vessel. As soon as the ice melts, we'll have the best engineer in Milkwater come over on a tugboat and pull her out into the harbor for repairs. That could be a while. If my forecast is correct, we could be socked in for weeks. Now, let's try to remain positive. Give us right. At the very least, we ought to try and patch the hole in the hull before she takes on too much water. I'll help. That's the spirit! You see, with the right attitude, we'll get through this together! Now, if you'll excuse me, I need to, um, uh, check on the town stores. Strange thing. This island has seen plenty of winter storms, but none so bad that they took the ferry out of service. Parker and I will get it fixed. My mom's 70th is coming up. And she's not going to take a broken ferry as an excuse for missing her party. <laughs> Alright. Well, I hope it works out. Giva, what's up? Tara, you wouldn't happen to be growing any tea on your farm, would you? Kai's all out of loose leaf tea and I haven't had a good chai in ages. I'm not, but I could. That would be amazing. Kai said he still has some tea seeds. Oh, but for a proper chai, you'll need a few other things, too. Here's my favorite way to make it. Well, that was a lie. We are growing tea. Sorry you're stuck here, Giva. Sorry? Don't be sorry. This is a researcher's dream. If the ferry is never fixed, I can't return my equipment. So I never stop gathering data. It's terribly exciting. <laughs> well, I'm glad you're taking it so well. Well, I'm guessing the hot springs are about to get more popular. This means we get a snow day off of school, right? Or maybe even a snow week. Well, at least I don't have to worry about running out of ice at the bar. I love all of this positive thinking. Ah. <sighs> I hope the ferry isn't busted for long. I can paddle pretty far, but like, not all the way across the Fairhaven Sound. Yeah. I guess we're going to have a bit of a challenge ahead of us. With the uh, ferry repairs and, uh, well, with Raven as well. First breaking through the Bramble Gate and then... Breaking through our glamour. Hmm. 
We can complete several of these. Let's get to it. Well, I mean, today we're going to be pretty busy. We need to go see Westley about the Summon a Witch incantation. But I'm sure we'll uh, see those people in the coming days and whenever we do see them, we can give them the um, the stuff that they have requested. Alright. Spinach. That means that we can make the salmon dish that we need to bring to the winter feast. Let's make it today, just to have it uh, done and prepared. A week? Well, I mean, six days. Uh, maybe we'll use the boost harvest potion on that. And hey, we now have the recipe for chai. And it's one of Giva's favorite things. So, as soon as we grow a decent amount of tea, we'll be able to make some and, um, Start giving it to give up as a gift. Hello, Layla. Pancho. Cleopatra. Oh, who's a good kitty? <laughs> you still liked that, didn't you, kitty? Now, let's go see Westley. Hi, Tara. Need some parchment or maybe some new ink? Actually, I'm hoping you might have a special incantation in your ancient scroll collection. We need to call a new witch to the Coven Circle. Now that you mention it, I do think I saw something like that when I was doing inventory last week. Ah, here we are. You'll need at least four members of the Coven to cast it round the circle with you. And here's the full list of ingredients for the incantation. You're calling a new witch? Oh, that will pull a lot of magic from the Wellspring. It's unstable as it is. Your High Priestess shouldn't act rashly out of desperation. The island has seen long winters before. Really? When? What happened? Oh, what happened was a bunch of colonists froze. Their leader couldn't resist the siren song of the stones. Hey, I've known plenty of sirens and they're unfairly maligned. It's not their fault since sailors can't steer their ships. Uh-huh. Point is, no one made it out of their camp in the woods that winter. I grew up here in that story, and I bet Thomas did too. That's why he keeps clear. Right. And it was the call of the gloaming that brought them to ruin. Not the winter. Take heed, Witchling. All right. I am told the ferry no longer works. <laughs> Why is this a problem? Can you not simply swim to the mainland? That's a long swim. In very, very cold water. Ah, right. 
Perhaps try evolving wings. <sighs> Yeah, she has a very different perspective on things. Hiya, Tara! Wanna see these build plans? Always. What's your latest invention? Oh, gosh, I, I didn't invent this. It's what humans would call an Archimedes screw. Very old. Okay, regardless of who invented it, what does it, uh, do? Oh, it pumps water from one place into another. So I figure I can replace the ferry's bilge pump with one of these. That way, the ferry won't take on more water while I'm repairing it. I mean, while Thomas, Parker, and me are repairing it. <laughs> All together. That's genius. What are you going to make the Archimedes screw out of? Bronze is best. It holds up real well in salt water. I've got loads of tin lying around to make a bronze alloy, but no copper. Oh, could, could you fetch me some? Sure, no problem. Woohoo! <laughs> Thanks! I can't wait to get started! Uh, well, in that case... Did you get your hands on any copper? I sure did. Have a look. Ah, this is just what I need. I'll melt the copper down and combine it with the tin straight away. I use a Grimspark family incantation to make the alloy extra strong. It's the niftiest thing. I show it to you, but you're not a Grimspark, so take this instead. Thanks, Zephyr. Don't mention it, my friend. No, oh, thanks. I wonder who would want to break into your coven circle like that. I tell you, if someone trespassed here, Perry would be real sore about it. That's why she got her feathers ruffled when you just showed up last summer. Yeah. Uh, well, let's go see Perry. We'll see what she's got. Uh, to sell us today. somebody very ancient like that who well all right probably is pretty wise and uh kind of thinks she knows it all wouldn't take very well to surprises wesley says that most of the humans are worried about repairing the ferry but why do you need the ferry it churns up the water near the shore and the people who ride it throw trash in the water mm, best to leave it broken <laughs> Somehow, I knew you'd say something like that. Uh, Fishy, what have you got? We'll give you the uh, bait that we have and we'll take what you've fished up. Yes, we need to cook the salmon thing. And we need to talk to Cameron. Have you seen that stray cat around? I was thinking it might want a warm place to stay until the storm season is over. Well, there is one cat right there. But she can take care of herself. Let's see about this stuff. Do we want to make any more potions or do we want to leave this empty? Let's leave this empty for now. And we'll see about that cooking. We could make quite a few things here. We'll just make one of the salmon. Maybe somebody would like pumpkin bread? Hmm. 
I guess we could kind of sort of like uh, randomly give things to people and then see if they like them. Ah, this is what Amira likes. Mm. Cream cheese bagel. I don't know. Maybe let's make some of the dessert stuff. Oh, we need the actual noodles for this. Do we know how to make them? Mild wine. Sounds delicious. I bet... Zephyr would like several of these dessert things. We'll make some and then we'll try giving these to to people and and we'll see if they like them. What would Zephyr especially like? I don't know. Maybe let's just make several different things and... And we'll see. Banana bread. Sure. And... Um, Danish. Lawn. Oatmeal raisin cookie. enough cooking for the moment. Oh yeah, we need to talk to Cameron. Let's see if we can uh, bump into him. We also have the paper for him. Nah, the church doors are already closed. Otto. I'm sure someone tampered with the ferry, but we'll get to the bottom of it. Or maybe it was just the storm that damaged the ferry? Terra, Terra, Terra. The simplest solution is usually the correct one. And that solution is that a witch broke the ferry. Exactly. Nah. Uh -huh. Hmm. Angus? Hi. 
I love any excuse for fireside snuggles with Francis, but I'm worried. What if a malcontent tried to sabotage the fairy? Oh, jeez, people. What if it was just the weather? Oh, I appreciate it. Most days, the last thing I want to do is come home and cook my own food. So, not a favorite. Nobody else seems to be around at this hour. Uh, let's go to the forest. We'll do some foraging and then we'll go and see about that coven meeting. There's a lot of stuff on the ground here. Probably because of the storm. All right, let's go and see what's up over here. I brought the incantation to call a new witch from Wesley, High Priestess. Well done. Ah, we will need a giant lotus. I believe I've seen it pass a second pillar in the gloaming. If Terra's going back in the gloaming, I'm going with her. Very well. Let me know when you're ready, and I will place a keystone to open the second pillar. Yeah, okay. Let's go. I'm ready to go past the second pillar, High Priestess. Very well. Novice and herbalist, take your places on the portal. Look at all the sparkly flowers! You really are a magpie, you know that? All right. Luckily, it seems that the second pillar was not the one that the raven was interested in. Tara, look! Another Echo Blossom! No one seems to be taking Shelby's prophecy seriously. Lena and Giacomo just want to keep the town from finding out about us. Arno and Kaya are too busy planning their move back home, and Hazel seems distracted lately. But I can't forget what Shelby said. A daughter of the Coven will be in mortal danger. I will protect Violet, even if I have to do it alone. There... Was a prophecy? About me? Why didn't anyone in the coven tell me? It really is my fault she came in here. She was trying to protect me. You can't blame yourself, Violet. It is not your fault. You were just a kid. I'm going to find her, Tara. No matter what, I need to know what happened. A daughter of the coven, huh? So, why was... Why was she so certain that it was about Violet? Hmm. Is that what we're looking for? I think. Yes. Yes, it is. Go get it. You go get it. I would, but these are new shoes. <sighs> Fine. <laughs> oh, I guess I'm too heavy for it. Rude. We need levitation potion. Have you got some? Obviously. What kind of witch would I be otherwise? Okay, great. Now, drink it. What is it with you and making me guinea pig these random potions? How do you know it's safe? Well, if it isn't, Amir will fix you right up. <sighs> Why do I let you talk me into these things? Well, it seems to be working, and I still have all my fingers and toes. Any extra ones? What? Nothing. <laughs> <laughs> that was pretty funny. Let's explore a little. Oh, we could fish here. I don't have any bait. 
Maybe I should visit Bruno's shop? Nah. Uh, um... Anything here? Nope. Alright. There's a spot we can grow stuff. And a well. Huh? What was that? Ugh. Doesn't look like my wand is strong enough for this. Oh. Okay. Well, what about this barrier over here? Great-great Aunt Vivian? Wow. Ah, so that's what broke her heart. I guess that's all we can do here for now. But, um, awesome. We have found the flower that we need for the, um, the, um, enchanted silver wire. And we have found Wolfsbane, which we needed for the, um, ah, for the summon small things longer incantation. So, from now on, when we need those things, the, uh, was it Wolflower, and then the Wolfsbane, we'll just go look in the second area of How Gloomy. How do you know that another witch is going to just join us? The Wellspring has a way of calling witches from all over the world. Sometimes people who move here don't even realize that they're witches, like you. Mind that no one finds your sanctum. We've heard that one before. Try to not blow off any arms or legs while... This too. Watch out for the journeyman. And that as well. Let's replenish our magic. And I guess then we'll go home and see what we need for the summon new witch incantation we'll see if we have everything already or if we need to go and find some more ingredients have everything. Nice. And what now? Bring it to the High Priestess. Will do. Here is the Summon Witch Incantation, High Priestess. Well done. Everyone take your places while I prepare the incantation. Tonight we call one who may aid us in our magical workings. Join your brothers and sisters of the Fairhaven Coven.
Together we stand, which is all, demanding that you heed our call. Oh no. I fell asleep in front of the TV again, didn't I? Angus! Angus, wake me up! This is no dream, and do not be afraid. You're among friends. There really are witches here. Angus was right! Look, I'm not one of you. I don't care what you might have heard about my brother. I had nothing to do with that. Fabio may have the gift as well, but you've got it in you to be an even greater witch than your brother, Francis. We need your help. Fairhaven needs your help. You're not listening to me. I'm no witch. What was that? Ah! Francis, wait! No, no, no! Stay away from me! I'm warning you! Oh, no. <laughs> so, Francis is the new witch, but he's in denial. I got a letter from an institute focused on herb lore. I can't oh, believe we've heard school. this before. And now there's another another wraith that we need to deal with and also the um the fairy needs fixing and uh, we suddenly have a whole lot of problems that need solving Oh well, one at a time. I'm sure we'll be able to do it. And uh, hopefully Francis will come around at some point. I wonder what he's going to think about all of that. Is he going to convince himself that it was all some sort of a nightmare? I mean, if he runs or ran straight home and went to bed and fell asleep, he, he might be able to convince himself in the morning that it didn't really happen, that it was just a nightmare. I guess we'll find out tomorrow. And unfortunately, tomorrow is going to be Monday, so Zephyr's shop won't be open, and we'll have to wait till Wednesday to be able to make that enchanted silver wire. I think we have all the stuff we need for it, though. We got quite a few of those flowers, and I think the other stuff we had already. Let's hurry on home and to bed before we pass out. And um, we'll see how things develop tomorrow with the uh, Wraith situation and with the Francis situation as well, hopefully. But for now, thank you so much for spending time with me here on The Mellow. It was lovely to have you. I'd like it if you'd leave me a like. And if you're not already subscribed, then please do subscribe to conveniently keep up with my content and to show me that you want to keep watching my videos. Remember to be kind to yourself, have a lovely rest of your day and I'll see you next time.